Well, I'm outside the famous gym building in the 500 block of Southwest 10th here with Jan Lewenberger. Jan, uh, this building has a lot of meaning to you. Tell us a little bit about this building. It's uh, celebrating its 90th birthday this month. That's right. And he, <coughs> my uh, grandfather and uh, uh, father, they built this in uh, 1928. They had a grocery store on the corner where Pizza Hut is. And then they moved across the alley with all kinds of improvements and uh, new adaptations to the grocery store. It has 12 apartments up above. And uh, then, uh, then along came the Depression, along came World War II. They couldn't get, they delivered groceries, but they couldn't get tires, parts, gasoline, uh, toilet paper, coffee. Uh, those kind of things so it was very very difficult and then when shopping centers came in in the 50s they finally had to close the grocery store. But the building is, you maintain this building, it's a beautiful building, it's still in great shape isn't it? It is, it's a, it, there has been hardly anything changed since 1928. And, and if you go inside folks, Jan can show you pictures that are very historical and uh, just to kind of show you where we are, we're just right over here by 10th and Topeka. There's the Walgreens you can see there. And then here's the Pizza Hut. Used to be Super D Drugs right Across there. Across the street from Docking. Across the street from the Docking Building. Just to, right, right. To the west. Just to the west. There's and the there's Docking there, Building right there, there. If you go in the uh, Darcy Williamson's law office, uh, the doors open and just say you want to see the pictures. There's pictures of the historical development uh, since they came from the Avenue in uh, 1900. So yes, and Jan's father ran the Jim grocery store, so the GEM grocery store, and it was in business here from about, what, 28 till in the early 50s, right, uh -huh. Jan? Uh-huh. And then again, it turned into office space down here at street level, and then 12 apartments upstairs, but, but it's on the National Register of Historic Places. It's been honored by Historic Topeka. Uh, Kansas Historical Society has honored it. Just a lot of honors, right, Jan? Yeah, that's correct. I appreciate all of support and and folks right behind Jan you can see they're doing some work right now they're putting up another plaque it'll be up this weekend probably later today that's going to commemorate the 90th anniversary of this historic building right here in downtown the peak and it's thanks to Jan Lewenberger and his family that have kept this building in the beautiful shape that it's been in for almost 100 and, years now and he and the plaque is going to relate all of the history during the depression and war years and uh, all that's the purpose of the plaque, not just to show a date. And Jen, one other thing before we go, this was home to you for the first 18, 19 years of your life, right? That's correct. You lived up above, right? Apartment 102. <laughs> <laughs> and the grocery store was downstairs. And there was a, uh, a famous bar when they opened, there was a drugstore called Jim Gross Drugstore, and then followed in the 40s by a famous bar called Maxi's. And officers from the Officers Club come down here at noontime and so forth. And pictures of all that are in the Darcy Williamson Law Office. So a lot of history here. Yes. So if you're driving by, folks, uh, make sure you take a look at the gym building here in the 500 block of. Southwest 10th Avenue is just on the north side of the street. And Jan, thanks for taking time to tell us all about it. Thank you. Thanks to Capitol Journal. You're welcome. Thank you, Jan. Uh -huh.